Hey guys, it's me Jessica and today I'm going to be doing a book talk and this book talk is about Inferno by Dan Brown. I, I finished this book a couple of days ago and I'm here to talk about it. So here is the kind of synopsis overview that I'm going to tell the people. If you're like interested in reading it, there's a movie coming out in I believe October so sh you should also go check the trailer for that out if you want. I might link it down in the description. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but this book follows Robert Langton, the same character who is in The Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons, as well as The Lost Symbol. And he wakes up in a hospital, and he has no clue where he is and why he's there. And he finds out that he's in Florence, and he doesn't remember ever going to Florence. And he has amnesia, and he doesn't remember what happened for the last two days. He ends up finding out that he has this clue that links to this plague that's about to be spread out into the world within a couple of days. Well, within a day, and he has to follow the clues to try and stop it with a girl named Sienna Brooks. So that is the synopsis. It's definitely a Dan Brown book. It sounds like a Robert Langton book. Um, so if you're interested in it, I would pick it up. I actually really, really enjoyed it. I believe I gave it a 5 out of 5, maybe a 4 out of 5 stars. I would give it between the 80 and 90 percent percentage range, maybe 95 percent, something, something around there. Um, I'm not really good with the percentages. If you haven't read this book, I would suggest you go read it and then come back so we can talk about it. So Dan Brown's books definitely have a set um, like plan, things that happen in almost every Robert Lincoln book. And one of those would be he's either on a time crunch or he's being chased by like authorities. And this book has both. He's being chased by authorities and he also has a time crunch to find the, the plague. The plague that everyone assumes is going to like kill everyone to, sa to solve um, overpopulation. The beginning of the book I thought was a normal Dan Brown book and I didn't understand why they were running away from the authorities because when I was seeing it from their point of view they didn't seem bad to me because he was finding like Dan Brown definitely sets that up to so you think that the authorities are trying to kill uh Robert Lincoln, but I didn't think so because it was also that assassin and there were just like two things that clashed to me. I didn't it didn't seem right. But of course it has a lot to do with history as well as art and I love, I love these books because it teaches you a lot but it also, it does it in a cool like spy way and definitely I always have my phone next to me when I read this book so I can look up pieces of art or a location in Florence as well as Venice as well as Istanbul because that's where they go in the end. Um, there's always a pretty girl who in this one is bald, but I don't know if they're gonna do Sienna Brooks being bald in the movie. She's not blonde in the movie, but I don't know. I'm definitely interested to see the movie after reading this book because of that loop, that total twist where the whole beginning of the book isn't, it's, it's all set up. The, the hospital's not real. The, the um, guy that gets shot doesn't actually get shot. It's a blank and he has got fake blood and Sienna Brooks, her apartment is fake. Everything is fake because of that one company and the the provost I think that's how you pronounce the name and it was just oh I thought I didn't think that it was actually fake until they said it and I was I was very very upset I was very upset and then I found that the amnesia is not really real like they actually just cut his head and stitched it and made it think like he was shot when he wasn't shot that oh that made me very angry that I was so so angry after after that I, I just had to put the book down and walk away for a little while I couldn't I couldn't and I was like Sienna's the bad guy and then I just kept reading and then Sienna wants to stop it because you know she she was in love with with um what's his face the bad guy Zobrist she was in love with him and they were both very like smart intellectual intellectual people and oh my gosh it was very very frustrating the one thing I did think was very interesting was the plague and how it wasn't a plague that set out to like murder people. It was a plague that made everyone sterile. Well, one out of three people sterile. And that was just talking about how it was such a humane way to like deal with the situation of overpopulation, which is a topic that actually scares me a little bit. 
I was kind of okay with the plague. I was like, if this happened, I might be a little okay with it. But Sienna Brooks, I really liked her character because she was this kind of straightforward character. She dismissed emotions. She was an actress. She was just totally like, I gotta do this. I gotta figure out where the thing is, the plague is. I gotta have Robert do it with me because I am not as smart with his uh, like history and arts as he is, so I gotta stay with him. I definitely like the Dante aspects, like the divine comedy aspects of this book. I liked all the history about it. It's made me more interested in the divine comedy itself. I really want to go to Florence now. I want to go to Florence. I want to go to Venice. I want to go to Istanbul. I want to go to all these places now and just kind of look at all the places he went and kind of recreate his journey. Because I did that, uh, my family and I did that when we went to Rome for Angels and Demons and that was fun. I'm really, really excited to go see the movie because both movies for The Da Vinci Code and um, Angels and Demons, they were very similar to the books. There were a couple of things that changed, but I was totally okay with them because they were like minuscule things. They weren't huge changes. Like, So that is my review for Inferno by Dan Brown. If you are interested in seeing the movie, tell me down in the comments. Uh, like this video if you like it. If you don't like it, you don't have to do anything. Um, subscribe so you know when I make a new video. I'm going to have a new, I'm going to have a kind of road trip TBR going soon. Uh, next book I'm going to be reading, which I'm really, really excited for. I'm actually 140 pages in it already, and that is, ow. <laughs> but that is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. I will see you guys next time. Bye!